This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm 10 Hundred. I'm an artist from Seattle, Washington. And about a month ago, I put out a YouTube art prompt. I put out this video where I gave a theme. It was exploration. And hundreds and hundreds of you made art on that theme, sent them in to me, and we did a little review roundup video. But one of the people who sent in a piece of art really stuck out to me. He said this. Hi, Ten Hun. This is a very personal artwork of mine, so I hope you are able to read this. It represents finding myself. Even though there are times that I feel too much pain, that I feel worse or down or depressed, I do my best to not give up, to write down important things, to keep myself calm, to love and take care of myself. There are many stuff yet to be discovered by me, many culture, new opportunities, new connections, endless discovery and experiences, but the most important, discovering a better version of me as a person and as an artist. One day I'll collaborate with you, take my word for it, yeah, let's collaborate you want to collaborate? Let's collaborate. I would, I'm super down to collaborate with you. This is really rad. I don't know. Email me back and we'll figure something out. So yeah, he wanted to collab. So this is a completely random collaboration with a random YouTube subscriber. And we'll see how this goes. I'm going to get started sketching something. I'm going to email it to him. He lives in the Philippines. We'll just watch this art story kind of grow. Like we're just going to go back and forth from thousands and thousands of miles away and see what kind of art we can make uh <laughs> hopefully this goes good i know that i know what my art is like and i know what my videos are like but uh it's kind of out of my hands when it goes off to him hopefully he will film his progress too but uh yeah the anticipation is killing me so let's just jump into this and see how this thing goes Hmm. It's pretty rare that I collaborate with people. I'm the type of artist where I work really hard all the time. I work pretty fast. I'm making art every single day and I really don't like relying on people or waiting on people. I'm kind of impatient. I just want to do things fast. I want things now. I want to just like when I have a creative idea I just want to get it out and just do the work. <laughs> So collaboration to me is always like a little bit scary because it's like now I have to work with somebody else. I have to work at their pace. But this is the very first collaboration on my YouTube channel, which is kind of crazy. When I travel in Europe coming up in this August, I'm going to be collaborating with a lot of artists. So this is like a good kind of practice to get collaboration going. But some amazing things can come from collaboration and I'm super excited to see what Oats does with this just sort of starter sketch. Just getting the ball rolling with this character and see where he takes it. So I got my inks done and uh, I think I'm going to bring this into Photoshop and add a little bit of color before I send it off to Oats over in the Philippines. So let's jump into that. So I'm noticing that a lot of Oats stuff has similar color schemes of these like magentas and maroons and he's got like a certain color scheme that he works in a lot. So I think what I'm going to do is try and mimic his color scheme so that we can create a piece together that kind of exists in his world. So I think that's going to be sort of what guides me. Thank you. 
It's really interesting kind of stepping into Oat's world, using his colors, trying to do some subject matter that I feel like he would be able to work well with and be comfortable with. Collaboration kind of puts you in a different state of mind than just working on your own because you're thinking about what your collaborator's next steps are going to be and trying to kind of bend your artistic vision around their artistic vision as well. And this was a really fun and interesting challenge. I sent the art off to Oates in the Philippines, emailed it to him. Let's see what he thinks. Let's see what he does. Let's see where this story goes. I just got an email from Oats in the mail. I'm really excited to open it and check out what he sent. But first, I gotta let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace empowers millions of dreamers, makers, and doers by giving them the tools that they need to bring their dreams to life. On Squarespace's all-in-one dynamic platforms, customers can claim a domain, build a website, sell products online, and build their brand. I love Squarespace. I've built like five sites with Squarespace. My 1000art.com website, is built with Squarespace. It's just awesome. They have these beautiful, clean, simple templates that are really easy to use. It's great. It's like works on mobile. It works on laptop. It works on tablet. It works on PC. Like everywhere, it just works. You don't need to know how to code. You don't need to be like the HTML guru. You just put in your beautiful content into their beautiful templates and you're pretty much off and running. If you want to see a video where I built a Squarespace website in like 15 minutes, you can check out this video right here. It's on this side, I think. <laughs> it's it's super great to have a place on the internet where my portfolio can live so I can show off my paintings and illustrations and murals and all of my artwork while just a page away there's my whole online shop. My Squarespace website is at the very center of my entire online business and it's a huge way that helps me survive as a working artist. Squarespace also has award winning 24-7 customer support. If you already have a domain it's really simple to transfer your existing domain and link it to your Squarespace site. 
Yeah, I'm just honestly, I'm super, super hyped to have Squarespace as a sponsor of my channel because I use it every single day. I've been using it for years and years and years, and it's something that I really, truly believe in. I think every artist should have a super dope website. Go ahead to squarespace.com to start your free trial, see if you like it. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash 1000 for 10% off your first purchase. There's a link down in the description. Squarespace.com forward slash 1000 gets you 10% off off your first purchase so what are you waiting for you need a beautiful website come on <laughs> thank you so much squarespace for sponsoring this video now i think it's time for me to check out the art that oats sent me i'm so excited all right what's up oats oh snap oh cool oh this guy's rad double knives <laughs> sick Yes, oh, it's killing the game. I made your canvas 17 by 17, sent you three of them separately. Here's a sample of how I put them together. I'll add details when you return the art pieces to me again. Your turn. <laughs> this is sick. Okay, 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 this is coming together. Damn, Oats. Okay, this is sick. Okay, oh, I thought of something like we are partners in crime, back to back, we're on a mission, or a game, or a journey to defeat a boss and save the world, <laughs> lol. Or to find the lost treasure or something. <laughs> yeah, I drew my dog as a character too. You will see her in the clips that I will send you. So sick. Damn, okay, time to, time to jump in. Let's pop this guy in here. And then he's got his dog. The dog. Okay, so now I'm kind of noticing that his line art is like this light magenta, lighter magenta, and my line art is like a pretty deep kind of purple, and mine looks too kind of bold compared to his. So I'm gonna ease this back a little bit on the line art and try to blend it in with the color overlay. That already looks like it's kind of matching his composition a little bit better, and this is looking pretty sick. So I'm feeling like I want to leave this guy like a little bit bigger back here. What's my background look like? Ooh, that's kind of interesting with the, we could do like a frame within a frame thing here. And then his background was more of like a deeper purple, but I think I want to try this. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so we got kind of something, kind of an arrangement going here that I think it's kind of cool. So now I need to sketch a couple more characters to balance this thing out. So I'm going to jump on that. was saying he sees these characters on like an epic adventure ready to save the world or like ready to defeat the boss or whatever so I just wanted to like make some characters where it looks like you know maybe like a movie poster or a, or a comic book cover or like where each viewer might just kind of start making up their own backstory for these characters based on this visual storytelling that, that we're attempting I just kind of made this like badass lady with her sweet no mercy pistol and just wanted wanted to kind of make this mysterious sort of vengeful character, I guess. So let's do a version of his dog. So I think I might try and do a version of Georgie. <laughs> he made like a crazy manga, like super version of his dog. So maybe I'll give that a whirl. <laughs> Georgie will be so hyped. Georgie's curls took me so long to draw. <laughs> I just kind of went on YouTube and put on some boiler room DJ mixes and just kind of zenned out for hours and hours on these curls. Georgie, why you gotta have such curly hair, dude? <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, so I emailed that off to Oats. Let's see what he does next. Yeah. I just got an email from Oats. <laughs> Let's check out what he did. All right, so Oats, what do you got, baby? Where's it at, where's it at, where's it at? Ooh, he did a lot of stuff. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, looks like I'm gonna just be doing some arranging and some balancing and yeah, this is sick. Got her. Oh, I love this one, little girl. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right. All right, so let me just finish this up. This looks awesome. Moving all these individual elements around in Photoshop and arranging the composition and kind of designing the finished product is one of my favorite things to do. It's kind of how I design a lot of my murals. I'll draw each individual element separately and just kind of nudge a thing here, tweak a thing there, put a thing there and balance the whole thing out. I love this part. This is my favorite part of the process. George, I spent all that time drawing all your curls and now you got a haircut? Damn, dude. How are you gonna do me like that? <laughs> this would have been so much easier to draw. What are you doing, bro? Oh, Georgie. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. That was super fun. I'm super duper hyped on how it turned out. We made this. I absolutely love the way that it came together. Thank you so, so much to Oats for collaborating with me on this. If you guys want to check out more of his art, you can follow him on Instagram at, at Oats underscore meals. He's a super awesome artist and it, I think that our collaboration came together super awesome. So we're doing uh, some prints of this and we're going to do a special release of these prints. We're going to sell them for one week for pre-order and anyone who orders them within that week will get one that's how many will order because lately i've been putting out stuff like i did the spray cans i did the books i did those skateboards and all of it like sells out in like a day and it's really not fair to like international people who are in different time zones and i don't know i'm just having a hard time like ordering enough stuff to fulfill the need sometimes so on this one for one week the pre-orders will be open so anyone who orders in that week time span we'll get one we'll order one for you and then after that it's closed me and oats are going to be splitting the profits 50 50 so if you want to support oats and his art this is a good way to do it i'm going to be signing the prints if you want oats to sign the prints i don't know you might have to like travel to the philippines and find him or something but we're not going to like ship all the prints to the philippines have oats sign all the prints ship all the prints back from the philippines to the united states and then have me like ship them out that's like it's too much, so maybe uh, one day you can meet Oates and have him sign yours for you. <laughs> you can get those right now on my website on 1000art.com on the prints page. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. Thanks so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Go to squarespace.com forward slash 1000 for 10% off your first purchase. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can even ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Drop a comment. Let me know if you guys like this collaboration. Let me know if you want to see me do more collaborations. And I really appreciate you guys watching. If you want to support me, you can check out my Patreon. There's a great way to support me on a monthly basis and get a bunch of behind the scenes content that you can't get anywhere else. I do uh, art prompts on there, podcasts, chatting with my patrons on the Discord server. There's a bunch of behind the scenes videos and we, I've been doing that for like a year. So there's like a huge backlog of content. But yeah, this was a super fun project. It's crazy that, you know, with technology, two artists from thousands of miles apart can collaborate and make art and 
through this platform of YouTube, share the story and film the video and share it with you guys and build a community. And like, we're living in the future. <laughs> and I'm so happy that you guys are watching. And I'm so happy with this community that we built up. Thank you all so much. I'm 1000. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace out. Thank you.